The Calcite Mine four-wheel drive road takes you into the unusual landscape of the Truck Haven Rocks and ends at a World War II era mine. Crystalline calcite was taken from the earth here, which was used in the manufacturing of bomb and anti-aircraft gun sites. The road also passes through the very unique landscape of the Truck Haven Rocks. The video you're watching is just one of a series covering Anza Borrego and it's part of our online virtual travel guide of this area. Learn more about Anza Borrego while taking other virtual video tours like this one by visiting the web address on your screen www.backroadswest.com forward slash Anza dash Borrego. After dialing in our virtual travel guide's address, make sure to click on Trips here, then decide which type of trip you want to take. I'll pick Hikes and browse through the different choices. Let's go on a hike through the slot. Now I'll learn what hiking through the slot is like. By using our virtual travel guide, you'll discover a lot more about an area than what you'll see in these videos. We hope you enjoy our tours. The road to the mine starts 19 miles from Borrego Springs. You'll pass by Clark Dry Lake, the turnoff to Fonts Point, and go through the Truck Haven Rocks area. At that 19 mile point, look for this turnoff from Highway S22. Before going down the dirt road, make sure to stop and read this information sign. If you have a two wheel drive vehicle, park here because this is where your hike will begin. Before going down the hill, be sure to engage your four-wheel drive. After descending steeply, the road will cross a wash. Going up this wash will take you to the Calcite Mine Slot Canyon. You're going to continue straight though, where the road begins to climb steep and becomes rather rough. This part of the road, you only need four-wheel drive and high clearance. But the rest of the way, you need a better equipped four-wheel drive along with the driving experience to go with it. Furthermore, there are steep and deep drop-offs right next to the road. If this makes you nervous, then park as indicated on the map and hike the road the rest of the way to the mine. Here is a view of that deep drop off in the slot canyon below. And here is a view from inside that slot canyon looking back up at the road. This picture was taken inside South Palm Wash. Here is an example of some of the driving challenges along the rough portion of the road. During the late winter and spring, you might be rewarded with some wildflowers along the slopes of the hills.
Once you get to the top, the views are great. Here you can see all the way back to where we started at the pavement. If you walk around the site of this old mine, you will be rewarded with lots of breathtaking scenery, unusual sandstone formations, and fragments of glittery calcite lying all around. <laughs>